but I think I'd look good in a ponytail. I just think I could I could tie it up in a man bun whenever I wanted to. Watch. Huh? You know what that was? <laughs> that was an eye roll. You you are you did an eye roll? Yes. So you don't want me to grow a ponytail? No. No. No ponytail. No ponytail, no man bun. But but Trace Adkins has a ponytail and you think he looks good. I didn't marry Trace. I married Bill. Just saying. Did you know the camera's been on all this time? No. <laughs> you didn't? Was I ready? Oh. <laughs> were you ready? I don't know, were you? No. <laughs> anyway. Well, no, no, I guess no. we better talk about the subject at hand. We'll discuss the ponytail man bun thing later. Right? Okay, fine. Fine. Anyway, we thought we'd uh, take a little time here and talk about our rigid drain system that we put together. We'd mentioned it a while back that we were going to do something like that, right? Yes. And uh, anyway, we got to put together. I hesitated. Uh, actually, we hesitated to to talk about this yet because there's still a little bit more tweaking required. But uh, we thought we'd go into it a little bit in case uh, someone can pick up some ideas off of that. Now, not everybody's drain system is set up the way ours is, but there might be something in this that someone else could use. So that's why we're talking about it right now. Now, if you'll remember from previous videos, uh, we have two RV-style sewer dumps, one at the front where the bathroom area is and another one at the back where the sink is, and they're regular, standard, uh, lug-fitting type, three inch RV sewer dumps just like you'd find on a regular RV and what we've been doing when we're out at parks that do not have sewer hookups right now because we're stationary we have a regular sewer hookup but what we've been doing when we're at other parks which 99.99 percent of the time when we're go back into travel mode that's I, the way I love it'll it be. when you say that go back, back, into, back into travel yeah, mode. Yeah. <laughs> we are definitely looking forward we're counting the days looking forward to going back into travel mode but we have agreed to do this uh, for the Corps of Engineers through the winter so we're going to stay with it of course but we're ready to get back on the road uh, uh, and we can't wait until it's time but what we've been doing in, in the past you know we've used two tanks we have a separate tank for the bathroom area up front and we have a separate tank uh, auxiliary uh, tank for the a kitchen area at the back and uh, we even did a video here a while back when I had my uh, my eye surgery because I couldn't do any heavy lifting where Deb actually did the dumping and she dumped both of those tanks uh, although it, it works really really good we've been trying to figure out ways to simplify it so uh, we're going to go to a one tank system rather than having a 22 gallon tank for the bathroom area and a 10 gallon tank for the kitchen what we're going to go to uh, when we get tra back in travel mode again is a single 32 gallon tank. So we came up with an idea how we could uh, set this thing up real easily. Now, uh, you've probably seen photos of the rigid drain system already. I'm sure I flashed a few up. And we'll talk about the fittings that are available. Um, there are fittings out there available that actually will glue directly to a 3 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe or 3 inch schedule 40 ABS pipe. Now the fittings themselves are made out of ABS. Now when you're gluing these fittings to uh, PVC, which is what I did in this case mainly because ABS pipe wasn't available around here and I didn't realize the difference until I got ready to put the system together and I had a short window because of the weather, I went ahead and went with PVC. But what I did use is a PVC cement that will go both ways. It will uh, It'll work with, uh, hey, you just happen to have some. Yeah, well, it's right it here. In, so it hey, freeze. here it is right here. Let me get it up close to the camera so you can see. Yeah, that one, let me spin it this way. That is the one that uh, will glue either ABS or PVC. And it worked fantastic. Now, these fittings, uh, there's two types. You've got one called the bayonet fitting, and it swivels on the end, which makes it nice when you're hooking up uh, hoses and things like that to it. And then the other fitting is what they call the lug fitting. Now the bayonet fittings run around uh, $10. The lug fittings run around $5, a little less. In fact, if I remember correctly at Amazon, they were $4.25 for those. I say, those. we ordered those from right, Amazon. Right. Now, what we did, and you can see it in the photo as well, we rigged it up where we can run a short tube uh, out of the sewer dump and go into the straight rigid tube 
uh, at one end and then at the other end uh, I made up a T and of course what you can see there at the T where uh, one end of it connects to the rigid tube um, the actual T part of the T uh, connects to the other short hose that's coming out of uh, that particular uh, sewer dump and then of course on the other end of the T it goes off and goes into in this case goes off into the uh, sewer dump at the cap site that we're at or uh, you can also come off of there and go straight into an auxiliary tank. Now, all together in this entire system, uh, I've got less than $90 in the whole system. And I do have a little bit of tweaking to do still yet. Uh, I still, uh, I, what I intended to do, I want I envisioned when I was building this in my head, I envisioned having that uh, rigid PVC tube to run exactly parallel with the fender. And as you can see, it runs off of it at an angle a little bit. And uh, the reason why it does is because for my short tubes that come out of my sewer dumps, I used a two-foot short tube on both ends. And uh, the one end where it actually hooks into the rigid tube, at, in this case at the front of the trailer, that tube really needs to be a five-foot tube because that will give me enough room for the tube to come out. I, am I getting too close to you? See? If you let me have a ponytail, I won't do that. Anyway, that gives me enough room for that uh, five-foot tube to come out and make a nice, easy turn so I can have it more adjustable. So I will be swapping out one of the two-foot tubes for a five-foot tube. Now, the neat thing about this system that we're, we've developed here, and, of course, we'll know more about it when we actually start traveling again and we see exactly how it works, and we will do an update later, but... The neat thing about this system, the way it's designed, once I tweak it some more and shorten the length of that rigid tube so I can use a five foot tube on one end of the other where it goes into the actual inlet part of the, of the rigid tube, I can swap this in for in because there's times, isn't that right dear, on some uh, camp spots that we've been at where <laughs> we're sitting like this with the front way up in the air. It, once we get the trailer level, there's been other times when we're sitting like this with the back way up in the air once we get the trailer level, depending on the slant of the pad that we're sitting on. And when we go back into traveling, we won't know ahead of time what we're going to find until we get there. And the neat thing about the way this system is set up, uh, when we get there, I'll be able to swap it end for end real easily. And of course, the tank will set the tank at whichever end of the trailer is the highest so we can have the proper slope that we need, you know, depending on which end we have to go. And it really does work. Uh, it's it's going to work pretty cool. Uh, the tank that we're looking at, uh, this 32-gallon tank, you're probably seeing a picture of it now. It has four wheels. It has four <laughs> wheels. And, you know, the old tanks that we had, the tanks we have now, which we're not really using right now. Now, there is one tank that you saw in the photo that is still hooked up to the trailer, and that is a topic for, uh, for another uh, another video. But uh, anyway, I will be eliminating the need for that particular tank when I redo uh, part of the drain system in the bathroom area. But we'll talk about that at another time. But here again, like I say, uh, depending on which end the trailer is sitting the highest, that's where the tank will be. So we can make sure that we have the proper slope. <clears throat> so it'll be real simple to swap it in for in. There's another thing I might be doing later. I might actually, <clears throat> after I shorten the tube, so that the five foot uh, flexible tube will work properly uh, by shortening the tube it'll make it easier to transport I'd probably haul it on the rack on top of the van however there's another possibility that I may get two more of these fittings another lug fitting and another bayonet fitting and actually cut the tube in half and insert them in the center so I could break the tube down into two shorter tubes it just all depends and those decisions we're not going to make until later but anyway, uh, the tank, like we say we're going to, is this uh, Barker 32-gallon uh, tank. Uh, you're seeing a photo of it, and you've already seen it. We'll show it again. Uh, and the neat thing about it is it's on uh, pneumatic tires. Uh, it'll be easier to tow around. It'll be like uh, pulling a wagon when we have to pull it up to the hitch of the van. And another neat thing about this one... Because some of these dump stations are a little bit of a drive. A little bit of a drive, yeah. From in the fact, park. that the park that we're at right now, from where you... Where you actually camp in the camping section up to the dump station, it's probably a mile, wouldn't you say? At least. Yeah, about a mile, yeah. So, um, and this dump station is shared by another campground as well, which is just right on the other side of the mountain here. But 
the neat thing about this uh, this tank is we will no longer have to tilt it up on end to get it to drain. We'll just simply be able to roll it over next to the uh, the hole in the ground at the dump station, run the tube over into it, and pull a valve. So um, that's the whole plan. But anyway, uh, the parts. I'll go ahead and post links to these parts on uh, uh, in in the comment section. So you'll have links to all those in the comment section. And <clears throat> just keep in mind, it will only work on Schedule 40 either ABS pipe. An ABS pipe in a 10-foot length, you have to usually special order. I think Home Depot can get it for you, but you have to have them order it for you. And I think Lowe's can get it as well. It's around $15 a 10-foot section, uh, and that would be black and everything would match. Uh, I think ours came out rather colorful, though. You know, the white and the black, and then hey, hey dealing yeah. with waste is dealing with waste. Dealing with waste is dealing with waste. But you <laughs> how know, do you make that pretty? <laughs> uh, we just want it. Well, we want it to look as neat as possible. Yes. Now we still have the long, long flexible RV tubes. You know that we can use, but the problem with those also is you have to use the uh, you have to support that tube because it'll bend in the middle. And the whole idea about about the whole idea about having the rigid tube setup is I only have to support it at one end and the other. At one end or the other. She's <laughs> constantly wanting to slap me around. Uh, not either. <laughs> not either. But anyway, uh, just keep, you know, uh, we kind of talk fast here and you've seen a lot of photos and stuff and everything. But uh, we're real excited about uh, how it appears that it's going to work for us and there will be an update video but it'll be a few months down when we hit travel mode again you know when we do the fine tuning as far as the proper supports and everything to support it at each end and I've got ideas about how I'm going to do that but hopefully this will be real simple once we get it all done once we get it all done and it'll make it simpler when we get ready to to go dump our tank at uh, at the dump station. Because we're all about simple. We're all about simple. We're all about simple. Life should be as simple as yeah. We can try make to it. make it as simple as possible, <laughs> you know. And even now, you know, uh, for, we can, you know, which we demonstrated in this video a few months back. Yeah, we can do the whole thing in long. in under thirty minutes, you know, as it is now. The, the, but, the problem with having two is one had to be lifted up yeah, into the, the van. The, the smaller one, the 10 gallon, because it doesn't come with a hookup to hook to the uh, to the hitch of the, of the vehicle. So we, I physically have to lift it and up. And that got the, heavy sometimes. And, and we get heavy sometimes, you know. <laughs> and this other way, we won't have to do that. We don't have so, to worry about lifting. Anyway. So I guess we're going to say uh, goodbye for now, and uh, Deb and I will go back into discussing whether I can grow a ponytail or not. No. I can't grow a ponytail. No. No. Takes too long to wash it. <laughs> Takes too long to wash it. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I guess um, we're not living. We're not living. We're not living. <laughs> <laughs> That's an outtake. We're not camping. We'll leave it in there. We'll leave it in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Say it. Say it again, dear. We're not. We're not camping. We're living. We're living. This is Bill and Deb with <laughs> I Ride Tanny House Adventures. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye now. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. As we sit side by side under the beautiful sky and reflect on this life we have chosen. There's so much we've discovered through our love for each other With no worries about where we'll be going Then I look in your eyes and with no great surprise I see joy in this life we've been given With my mind all so clear I whisper softly in your ear we're not camping, we're living, we're not camping.